Hey guys, welcome back to a new video on this channel. Today we are doing something very special and I yeah, I didn't really do this did this before, but we are going to open up Adobe Experience Design for the first time. Now, I don't know if I'm going to make a video series about that, but I would like to just test it out to just see what it will bring if it is any good if it is like better than sketch or something like that if it really has the potential and yeah i think we are all looking for the perfect tool for our project and our work and if it is better than sketch in maybe in the future then i would personally switch to it but we will see. Now, I don't think that it's better at the moment, but we are going to open it up and we will just see what we are going to get. Now, this is all in German. Um, we are like able to choose a device right here. I can open an example file and here are also some UI kits and any other links. So I think I'm just going to the example file. Okay, I'm going to expand the window, window a little bit. So, I can zoom in as I'm used to it in Sketch. And I see we have two tabs right here, design and prototype. And of course the common elements that I'm used to from sketch I can I see I can like share something right here and we have some elements probably elements that we can use to create stuff okay we will do that later let's look at this like tutorial window and all these screens that we have Can we somehow jump to 100% directly? Yes, there we it. Okay, so we can change colors, add lists, mask stuff. I am reading this stuff over here. Create prototypes, share them, export stuff. Okay, now here is step one. Click the blue background and change the color. Now let's do this and let's just do some random stuff right here to just get a feeling for the app. Okay, so basically yeah, it's just working like sketch. Step two, now we are going to change something uh, select the photo and we should hit comment and r to create a like raster okay so now you have these bars right here which means we can create like a list of it i think we can do the same with this whole group or whatever it is I didn't figure out yet where I can see like my layer list or something but I guess this will follow so let's try this out okay we only selected the background I think we can do this like repetitive list thing with all the elements that we have so if I select all of them, ah yeah, now it works really fine, okay. I gotta say, I gotta admit that I think this is very nice and easy, okay. Step 3, I can simply drag and drop a photo from my finder to this uh, gray circle 
to create like a mask. <laughs> so let's just do that with one of the photos I used in the last video. Okay, now I masked it. Can I now change the photo, the position of the photo? Okay, I didn't figure out how to change the photo yet, but it's just step three of the tutorial where we simply have to drag in something. Let's move on with this tutorial. I shall click prototype. Now let's do that. And I should ch like create a transition if someone clicks on this button it should probably go to this screen and we can simply create some uh, easings right here or some like transitions and on over here we can like set the destination I guess so if I select this one it should jump over to this screen and yeah it just does that let's move back to the second one and now let me see step 5 now I can play a prototype Okay, that's it. Let's do something. I see. So this should be actually like a back button. We are all we are just trying out the things that are possible in here so Okay And now step 6 I should share my prototype here yeah, whatever Step 7 Design mode again And here we can export stuff. We can also just hit Command E to export something. And yeah, basically it's just the same as we are used to it in Sketch. I don't know if you have worked in Sketch before, but it's quite similar. Sketch has a plugin that is developed by Envision which is named Craft and which basically does effects like this where you simply uh, create a bunch of elements from a single one or something like that. Now that's it. That's like the whole thing that we did right here. In one of the tutorials I saw that you can um, like paste photos to different uh, masks. I didn't for example figure out in the, using this tutorial what to do with this mask or yeah I didn't really find a layer list or something like that. I don't know if there is really like a layer list or if this is something that will follow soon but all the designs you see right here are just made in Adobe uh, experience design and I think they are already looking quite nice and this is something that could really like be in a live app or something like that and you could of course also create these things here in sketch and it looks kind of nice I have to admit that I 
like the clean user interface and so on and I'm not really sure what all the features are of this uh, current version but I could really like imagine creating a video series about that. Now would you like to see something like that as well? I would love to see your opinion and your like feedback on that down in the comment section. This was just of course a small video to test it out and to see what uh, we can do to do this like cheap little tutorial to get into the program and I will use some time now to just uh, practice some designs right here in this Adobe uh, experience design. Is it actually Adobe or Adobe? I don't really know. It's like the same in German you also have the problem with Nike and Nike but anyway Thank you for your time guys and enjoy your week. I hope you enjoyed this little video like my first uh, opening up of Adobe Experience Design and yeah, so we see us in the next video. Bye!